how's it going? I was just watching a bearing video about people who are saying that anti-SJW videos are boring and repetitive and a waste of time. And uh, even if I just go by the title of that, um, you know, something is boring based on whether you find interest in it. Uh, if you're not interested in a subject in general, then virtually everything that talks about that subject, you're going to find boring, right? And whether something is repetitive or not can also sort of depend on whether or not you're interested in the subject. If you're really, really, really interested in a subject, something may have a few repetitive elements to it, but the rest of it you may not view as repetitive, right? Um... And if it, even if you do view it as repetitive, it's not a bad thing because you're interested in the subject. So then there's a thing about it being a waste of time. Well, as far as actually like making people see things they didn't see before, I think there is a lot of it that's a waste of time. But... You know, in other areas, I mean, how do you judge what is a waste of time? I mean, you could say that music, movies, books, any sort of fantasy whatsoever is a waste of time. That Someone can make that argument. Um, and I would say that someone can overindulge in uh, escapism. Uh, I think that's definitely possible. Uh, but, you know, to say that, that the anti-SJWs are just a waste of time, again, that's very subjective. So, um, you know, to make as a generalized statement, um, which, I mean, if that's how you believe, fine. I tend to believe that way, but it's subjective. So, the problem that I have with most anti-SJW channels or uh, individual videos um, is that people rarely try to find solutions to the problems that the SJWs are bringing up. Now, you may feel that, that something isn't actually a problem, but there's not even the, well, let's hypothesize if this really was a problem. What kind of answers can we come up with for this? You know, that's not really ever done, and, and that's frustrating, because even if you don't think that the problem is legitimate, even if you think that the problem, I mean, maybe the problem's there, but you think it's completely insignificant, you think it's, uh, what is that word? Uh, negligible. The problem's, you know, the problem is negligible and not really worth looking into, but... I don't know, just to me it would be fun, even if you, even if you ended up doing it as a joke, to at least think about things that could solve the problem. Again, even if it's silly, um, I just, I don't see much attempts at that. And to me that's, that's kind of irritating. I'd love to see more ideas being thrown around, and... You know, after people get all these different ideas, if I mean, if a lot of people were doing that, we'd have all these ideas floating around and we might actually come up with solutions to a number of things through that because we're really giving some things some thought. Um, that's my view on it. Um, I think about the subject of abortion, right? Now, generally, I say I'm, I'm uh, uh, pro-choice. But the way I actually feel about abortion is, is kind of, it's kind of controversial in it. It's kind of almost, it is not the position that the left normally takes, right? Um, now, I think life starts at conception. I think life starts at conception. Um, I actually think abortion is murder, but I think it is absolutely necessary to for people to have the right to remove something growing inside their body. We have that right. Absolutely have that right. No matter what it is that's growing inside our body. In fact, I think if someone wants to, they want to have their hand removed, you know, hey, it's your life. 
Um, it's your money. It's your, you know, you know, go for it. Um, but I think we should be focusing on artificial wombs. Some people know this is my stance already. Some don't. I think we should focus on artificial wombs. It should be something, those should be, that technology should be available everywhere. We should be pushing for it. And once it's available, just make sure it's everywhere. Um, and at that point, instead of people getting abortions, you know, they can have the baby removed um, without killing the baby. And if that mother just doesn't want responsibility for that baby, fine. They sign up some paperwork and there they go. And if the, the mother doesn't want, uh, you know, any responsibility, but the father does, well, he gets that choice now. And that's some, that's a choice that was no, was, is previously wasn't really possible without violating some of the rights of the, of the mother. Oh, well, I need you to go through this term. Well, now they don't have, they wouldn't have to anymore. So we'd have more options, right? Um, now, at that point, to me, once we have artificial wombs, uh, abortion should be illegal except in very, very specific cases. Like, for instance, if uh, someone's life was at risk and she and you had to do this right now and, the, and you can't go through all of these other procedures that need to be done in order to have the baby removed and put in an artificial womb or they're at a hospital that those aren't available at or whatever, yeah, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Another one would be if the child would be born uh, basically with no brain. I mean, like like mentally a vegetable, right? Something like that. Yeah, that's, you know, you, you can make exceptions like that. Uh, but, but the lines for that would, would have to be drawn and, and there would be tons of arguments about, you know, what someone... Uh, <laughs> of what things would need to be in place to say that it's okay to abort that fetus, to abort that baby. So, you know, to me, the answer is artificial wombs. Let's make everyone happy. And those that are not happy with that, because they have this idea in their head that, uh, well, I should be able to, I should be able to ab abort this and not... I shouldn't have to go through all this other paperwork and all this stuff. Well, you know what? I'm sorry. If that's really what you think, I, I think you're kind of a terrible person. If the, if you can have the baby removed from you and not kill it, but you just want to kill it for just no fucking good reason because you just don't think you should deal with it or anyone else should deal with the child, you know, that's that's really fucking evil, honestly. I'm sorry. That's That's evil. I, there's there's no way I could I could possibly uh, condone that. So you know I take a weird stance on this. You know as long as we don't have the technology available to have the baby removed and uh, put into an artificial womb, then abortion is necessary. It's absolutely necessary. So you know why not think of other solutions to our problems? There's lots of things we can do that with. If it looks like there's two sides to, you know, two answers, only two answers to a problem, let's see if let's see if we can find a third and a fourth and a fifth answer to it. You know, even if what eventually gets decided on is a hybrid between them, at least we have the ideas out there. That's my viewpoint on this. Thanks for watching.